Seven, two, one. This is as close as we can get to the base of the World Trade Center. You can see the firemen assembled here, the police officers, FBI agents, and you can see the two towers. A huge explosion now raining debris on all of us. We better get out of the way! I hope I live. I hope I live. It's coming down on me. Here it comes. I'm getting behind a car. It's uh, incredible. Okay, I'm gonna have to go find people who need help. Because I don't think I'm one of them. You okay, sir? Okay. Can I just get a toot off your respirator? Yeah. Can I get a toot? I'm seeing a couple of clean breaths. Uh, that's good. Uh, okay. Back to you. This is the car I hid behind. It saved my life. Oh, wait, maybe it was this one. There's all these noises. I think it, I don't know what it is. They say someone needs help. Yeah, Mike. Mike. Mike, come over here. Yeah. Anybody need a doctor? Where are you? Don't have oxygen. Oh, man. <laughs> you... Hello, Doc. Hey, that guy needs some oxygen. If someone can share it with him. 10-4. Thanks. told me just to wait here at this semi-staging area see if I can help, so that's what I'm doing. They won't let me go any closer. No one can go in to get the people out. There's small explosions still going on. So far, I've just seen some people who needed oxygen from the dust. No point trauma. Gonna go wash my eyes out. Yeah, that almost made it work. Looking north on the west side highway. You guys going in? Yeah. Come with you. You know, but I don't want to get too much closer because the more buildings that come down, then we're not going to help anybody. All right. I think we should. Yeah. Let's just. Yeah. Okay. Let's just wait right here. Let's just station up right here. Okay. All right, Doc. Why don't we set up? Can you hang IVs from this pole here? Okay. Okay. Yeah. We just heard another explosion. They're handing out gloves and masks. The consensus is it's too unsafe to go in there. 
gonna wait here until they bring some people out. I was hooked up with some firemen with some first aid stuff. What are we doing? You know what? Why don't we just set this up as a little mobile hospital unit right here, okay?
another building flew right into the middle of it. Explosion. My God, it's right in the middle of the building. So you have no idea where it's right oh, now? Oh, there's another one. Another plane just hit. Right? Oh, my gosh. Another plane has just hit. It hit another building. Flew right into the middle of it. Explosion. My God, it's right in the middle of the building.
I think they're down. smoke I got when it collapsed. Tell me about what you saw. The, it just went from night to day instantaneously. The, the whole so sky turned day, black they from, from day to night. Sorry, tell me again what you saw. It went from day to night instantly and it, the whole sky just turned black and a thick smoke that you couldn't breathe. You had to go inside or you'd be choking. And there were many people getting sick from the smoke. You're lucky to be alive, are you? Yes, I am very lucky to be alive. I actually was to late, work late today. If I, was, if I had come in 15 minutes earlier, I might have been in a lot worse shape. Larry, that's great. Thank you very much. I was in the subway when the first one came. I heard the noise. The subway train went dead. I came up and saw Everywhere. It's very, very difficult to see, but there has been a... The whole area has been covered by soot and ash. But it looks almost like snow. So as people are coming up the street, running from the scene of this... They seem to have the north problem at the North Tower. Oh, my God. Good Lord. There are no words. America, offer a prayer. One has to assume that thousands of lives have been extinguished. May uh, God help those who are there and the victims and their families uh, and all the souls that are lost today. And take a look at the point in the picture. Inside the lobby. Was that a secondary explosion? Yes, it was. That was so the was planet Yeah, definitely secondary explosion. But we was inside waiting to go upstairs. And on the way upstairs, the whole fucking plane blew. And we just, we just collapsed from everybody inside the lobby. Similar to the first tower coming down, secondary? I don't know about the first one, but I know the second one, was, it was terrible. Then there was a third one, too, after that one. Third yeah. explosion after that? Yes, sir. And you were inside everybody was inside the building, the waiting to go upstairs. And they, they, just, they just let loose. Everything just let loose inside the building. So what, what you tell me is that there was a plane or whatever hit the building, then a secondary explosion. It was like three explosions after that. We came in after the after the fire. We came when the fire was going on already. We was in the staging area inside the building, okay. waiting to go upstairs. The whole line and they the whole explode. Line. The whole line.
shit, man. Can you believe this shit? I was up on, uh, in my office on the northwest corner of the 82nd floor. I heard a noise like a sonic boom almost, and then a blast. The building swayed, sh you know, uh, shook a little bit. I saw papers coming fly out of the middle of the building, and then we went to the staircase to try to get down. We were going down. We got stuck on one floor because the door and the staircase wouldn't even open. So we went back onto the floor. Uh, through some fire, we saw some fire and rubbish, and we went to the other staircase to come down. We made it all the way downstairs, and then when we were just about to come out of the building, uh, there was another blast, and all the lights went out, and that, this is what happened then. The glass came down? Uh, we didn't see we were still inside the building. All we heard was a big blast, and the whole volume of air moved. And we went, we came out through the uh, uh, subway. Good to see you. What are your injuries? Have they told you? The only thing I have is I have a little cut on my hand. That's about it. So I was real lucky. I don't know what happened to the people behind me when that blast occurred. You know, and uh, she called the church, and the church called her, called my mom. So I heard she's okay. Now she actually works in the World Trade Center. She works in the World Trade Center on 87th floor, I believe. She, she said that her arms are a little sore. She said that she never saw nothing like that before in her life. So it's kind of crazy down there. And even now, I'm in my van trying to get out of Manhattan. I can't even get out of Manhattan. What's I mean, going on in Manhattan right now? It's like a war zone. I mean, it's like a war zone out here. Everybody walking around dazed. You know, or, you know, you can't get the paper on the street. It's like chaos out here. I mean, if you're here right now, just, just listen, listen. Get it? <laughs> chaos out here. That was, uh, that's, that's the right cross going through. You see people in the streets crying. You know, people are all like, you know, around cars and cars had a radio. I mean, it's like a, it's like a war zone. People are like around cars with the radios playing, listening to what's going on. It's crazy.
Okay, he's going down another block at another angle. Yeah, yeah we can if you want. You get a. Okay. Did you get a good shot of that debris? I know I interrupted you. I'd like to actually take a look at it. Well, that's from the building. You don't think that's from the plane? No. How can you tell? Insulation glass inside of the building. Just look at that corner piece over there. It's not safe here. Do me a favor, move. Okay?
and another explosion on the right hand side another building has gone another building has gone up on the right hand side of the road people are now running down the street we're not sure if that was another explosion or if that was advanced debris joining me also is Away from the smoke, they were right here. We just no way. Yeah. The 
baby and a kid left behind. There was a baby and a mother was left behind. Left behind where? No one. Like I said, not even a police station. Nobody. I mean, we're running as fast as we could. I mean, I Do you see any fatalities? Hello? I don't know. No. All I saw was a baby and a mother being left behind. And we all, I mean, there's no way we can save them. I don't know what happened to them. I'm not going to say it's what happened to them. Is it? Yeah. Great. Un unplug. Unplug and let me hold it. Yeah. All right. Hold on. I've got it. You rolling? Yeah. You were in the lobby of the main tower? Yeah. All right. Tell me, that when the first explosion, what, what time was it roughly? I really, I really don't remember. At 8.45. Tell me what it was like. It was just, I just heard a big blast. That was it. And, uh, oh, wait a second. And uh, I started to, uh, I, I heard that noise once before and took off. Took off. Uh, the, wa the lobby was flooded with water, you know, putting out the fires. And uh, then I went back to see how my friends were. And the blast just happened now, and I got caught across the street. A couple of guys helped me get into the building across the street. <sighs> That's about it. That's all I know. Oh, God. It's amazing. Oh. What are you thinking? I, I really can't even think. I'm just like, I'm just out of breath. I really, I just hope my friends are okay. Inside, yeah, they were on the 88th floor of the World Trade Center. So, I can't talk. I really can't talk. Right. What's uh, your first and last name? Joseph, Joseph Napolitano. Joseph Napolitano? Oh, yeah. All right. Joe, you gotta sit down. Cap no, I was... Okay. okay, Kathleen, take it for me from the beginning, Kathleen. What did you see and what did you hear? I heard a plane, low, and I looked out the window, and then I saw something push the building in and then I saw the tail, and then I saw flames. <laughs> I saw flames engulf the whole upper portion, and then I saw the smoke, and the whole trailer rocked. We were ba the trailer was almost lifted off the ground. And then I just started screaming, because I could feel, I could feel what was going on with the people. What could you feel? <laughs> I just felt pain. And all I could think of was my family to make sure that they knew I was okay because they know that I work here. It just tore me up like it tore up the building. And I just can't believe anyone could do that, regardless of what your political views are, how anybody could do that to innocent people. And they, I remember looking at the clock that it was 9 o'clock, and I said, here's people sitting at their desks with families. And then they weren't anymore. And then there was a second plane. Then I was on the phone with my mother, looking out my window in my office. And she said, oh my god, another plane hit. And then I saw the burst of flames and the smoke. And then I just started screaming. Because then I felt it all over again. I just felt it all over again. I hope I never, or anybody, ever, has to know that feeling. And the people just milling around, lost. Everybody looked lost. They didn't know what to do. What could you do? Nothing. Pray. Pray that God took them quick. The impact was unbelievable. And the flames and the smoke. And even now, I can't even look at it, because all I can see are people. I don't see a building, I see people. People hurt. Children without mothers and fathers tonight. So I ran to the phone and I called my daughter's school to make sure that my daughter knew I was okay, and my family knew I was okay, and we let people use the phone to call their families, because that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Now when the plane Actually, what part of the plane you saw? The tail. All right. I saw a silver flash, and then the flames, and I saw a pointy tail. That's how I knew it was a plane. It's like a silver flash, because it was sunny today, so it was silver. And I saw the tail, because it went in. If it was a bomb, it would have gone out, and it went in. And everything was pushed in. And then we saw the people jumping. We saw what we thought was debris, and we realized it was people jumping. 
Ground zero, I managed to get in. I have the most amazing pictures to take. You've never seen anything like this in your life. There are cars burning all over the place. <coughs> this is one, tr one two World Trade Center on the ground. I'm level right here, ground level. I'm gonna try to take some still photos. Trees were these root that's rooted, knocked down. It was unbelievable. <coughs> Dude, this is worse than Pearl Harbor. Fire trucks, windows blown out. Buried in debris. just blew up. God bless America. I've never seen anything like this, my dear Jesus. This is the World Trade Center on the floor. Words cannot express what I feel, what has done, has been done to this country. Nobody will ever know.
what's happening here is the equipment operators are working closely with the rescue crews. We'll have to go in, we work the heavy equipment to remove the heavy I-beams and whatnot that we can't move by hand. After a uh, small portion of that's removed, we'll send the hand crews in to uh, search void areas or dig by hand to get a little more area out of that way. We just have to wait and, and have the debris removed enough so we can look and find them. And if uh, they're there, we can go in and breach the hole in the, con in the concrete, make entry into there, and, and do our search from there. What you're looking at here on September 16, 2001, five days after this horrific bombing, is the remains of what's left of World Trade Center uh, North Tower. You can see there's still fire burning in this wreckage here.
amazing. Never seen nothing like this in my life. 